as fans, people see, you know, Alberto winning the Giro over Ricardo Rico, who then has the positive test, and sort of, like, how are people supposed to... Believe him. Yeah, how are people supposed to interpret that? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I think it's a real testament to how good Alberto is, mm -hmm. because, um, you know, like, I, I go back to our anti-doping program. I mean, it's very extensive. Yeah. We're tested at home a lot, and I think that there's no room for, for cheating on yeah. this team. And, uh, I, you know, people have always said that you can't turn a Fiat into a Ferrari. So, uh, you know, Ricardo Rico, if, you know, if he was cheating during the Giro, I just think that uh, Alberto's at another level. Yeah. And well, I mean, if you look at the race, too, I mean, he, Alberto won the race by riding conservatively, and he didn't yeah. win the stage. You know, wasn't, exactly. He didn't have crazy I think attacks. You know? For sure, Rico was stronger than him in the mountains. You know, you, if, you, yeah. if you took the Giro and you took just the mountain stages, then Rico wins the Giro. But, uh, you know, we beat him in the team time trial, which is a team effort. Yeah. Um, Alberto is a much better time trialist than, than Ricardo Rico, no matter uh, what Rico does, what, yeah. whatever drugs he takes, he's never going to beat uh, Alberto on a time trial. That's just the way it works. So, um, yeah, that's a good question. That's the best answer I can give. Okay. Uh, 